Someone said, make yourselves useful, so we made ourselves violent. It was the year we grew backwards out of the mouth of our youth, year 17, when there was so much more we missed than what we'd left behind. That year we dreamed the dreams you dream at 17, none of them clean laundry yet, but secrets, daggers, salt on our lips. We could have loved ourselves, but instead we decided to kill ourselves, mostly because it seemed like less work, and our packing lists were so long already. We didn't pray, but we drank our coffee out of the same mugs every morning, which we decided was almost the same thing. Besides, weren't our bodies the least urgent parts of us? We were 17. We'd seen little enough blood to still think it terribly romantic. You were there at the gate, which comes from the word mouth, couldn't even look me in the eye when my flight number was called. Come on, I said. I'm in love with you, I'm not just killing time. But what was love except for hunger on that 17th year when I'd never been anything other than mature for my age? You found yourself a meaning and pocketed it like a false passport. We were 17 and we knew all our city's hiding spots, knew all the ways to wake the water in the air, knew everything except how to love this place where we began. One time I was 17, and I could see the things I destroyed with my hands, could see the echo of them shiftless. One time I was 17, and I knew every hiding spot in my city, knew how to imagine all its unimaginable parts. Years and taxes later, we would run into each other again in that same airport terminal, and you would look me up and down and say, Wow, you really did change your life, didn't you? I was so far from everything I wanted to be the moment I finally made up my mind to get better.